Protests and demonstrations have broken out at some of our elite colleges and schools across the country, the worst of which is at Columbia University in New York, and I'll summarize it uh, and explain it as, as simply as I can. These anti-Israel protests may be the new BLM for the upcoming election. These kids are identifying themselves with Hamas. You know, the, the terrorist organization. In the, in the softest demonstrations, they're calling for a divestment from the school's involvement with Israel in research and studies and, and financial ties, etc. In the worst cases, though, they're calling for Israel's extinction, which is coincidentally exactly what Hamas wants. They want to exterminate all the Jews. That is what Hamas wants. That's, that's what the chant from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free, means. It means no more Jewish people in Israel. They claim Israel is committing genocide. Israel is committing genocide. When it's literally Hamas who committed genocidal acts of terrorism on October 7th, which was the catalyst for this entire war. And a lot of these students don't even believe that that happened. It's just like Holocaust denial. They don't even believe that it happened. But the reality is that Israel's just, you know, minding its own business, as always, and an Islamic terror group invades their southeastern gate and then proceed to murder over a thousand Jewish men, women, and children and capture over 200 hostages, which they're still detaining. They burned babies to death in their cribs. They decapitated innocent parents. They wired people together and burned them alive. They paraded a lifeless and recently raped corpse around in the streets. And, and I could go on and on and on. There were hours and hours and hours of footage and pictures that circulated online. But these young, impressionable, and, and quite frankly, imbecilic college students have been brainwashed into thinking the kid who always gets picked on is the bad guy. Well, after a few weeks of this, schools, states, and, and more started shutting them down. Administration is even finally bucking their demands. In total, across the country, more than 600 people have been detained for reasons which you'll see in just a moment. But this, this perfectly illustrates something that I've been saying for months now. Freedom of speech doesn't mean that you can say anything that you want. You can only say things within legal limits. Another thing is, is that, that's in the First Amendment is the freedom of assembly. But the key constitutional wording is the freedom to peaceably assemble. So in these liberal states, these uh, schools allowed them to surpass the boundary of acceptable. But in other states like Texas and Florida, these protests and demonstrations were shut down almost immediately. Florida University put out an incredibly simple list of rules. Allowable activities and prohibited items and activities. Uh, th there were only three things that they listed that were allowed. Speech, expressing viewpoints, and holding signs in hands. That's it. The, the prohibitions was a, a much longer list, and it, it included no amplified sound, no demonstrations inside buildings, no littering, no sleeping, no unmanned signs, no blocking ingress and egress, no building of structures, chairs, stakes, benches, tables, no camping, no disruption, no threats, no violence, no weapons, or any other items and or activities deemed to be non-compliant with policy and regulations by university officials. And then, at the bottom of the page, they listed the consequences for non-compliance. Individuals found responsible for engaging in prohibited activities shall be trespassed from campus. Students will receive a three-year trespass and suspension. Employees will be trespassed and separated from employment. In other words, you'll be fired. 
Well, that's one way to shut it down and keep it civil, as is constitutionally allowed. Now, we turn to Arizona State University, where state troopers were called in to expel the, the law-breaking protesters. And in this clip, you can see a whole squad of frat boys tearing down the Palestinian flags and encampment gear. Watch. Look at these! Right! We've got the white frat boys throwing away protesters' belongings, and we've got the pigs in brown doing nothing about it, although we are being forced off campus. Pigs in brown! At Emory University in Georgia, Officers and state troopers used rubber bullets and tear gas to drive out protesters. There's also this clip, which went viral because it says a lot about the toddlers who attend our universities. You're hurting me! Now let's take a look at UCLA, where an anonymous group set up a, a large outdoor movie screen, barricaded with a sound system, playing October 7th footage on a loop for the protesters to see and hear who they were supporting. Watch. If you're listening on audio and you can't speak Arabic, the, the transcript read the following. Hi, Dad. Dad, I'm talking to you from a Jewish woman's phone. I killed her, and I killed her husband. Open my WhatsApp now, and you'll see all those killed. Look how many I killed with my own hands. Your son killed Jews. Dad, I killed ten. Ten with my own hands. Their blood is on their hands. Put mom on. And then mom says, Oh, my son, God bless you. And then mom, your son is a hero. Kill, 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 kill them. Seems like a sweet family. A worthy cause to get behind. I mean, that's what so many of our brilliant college students think. This was, this was a, a brilliant idea for whoever pulled this off. Now, let's, let's look at one last place. This is at NYU, and this one is, is probably the most telling of all. Watch this. And what would you say is the main goal with tonight's uh, protest? I think the goal is just showing our support for Palestine and demanding that NYU stops. I honestly don't know okay. all of what NYU's doing. Is there something that NYU's doing? I really don't oh. know. I'm pretty sure they're... Do you know what NYU's doing? About what? About Israel. Why what? are we protesting? Here. Uh, yeah. Palestine will be free! I wish I was more educated. I'm not either. Oh. I came from, I came from Columbia. I was there up at Columbia, and we came down. They said NYU students needed our support. So I came down. I heard there's lots of cops. Some people were saying it was getting dangerous. That, my friends, is the sound of sheep. This is absolutely golden. Like, please share this clip, because it shows how ridiculous this is, and how, I'm sorry, how incredibly stupid so many of our college classrooms and campuses actually are. They have no idea why they're there. They have no idea why they're there. Uh, we, we see this in, in, in the book of Acts. I think it's, it's Acts 20 or, or somewhere around there where uh, there's a riot in Ephesus, a mob that is just angry at Paul and Christianity and, and Luke writes a verse there about how the mob doesn't even know what, what they're yelling about. They don't even know what they're rioting about. 
And it's the same with these students all over the country. They have no idea what they're doing. And I love how the second girl who, who goes to Columbia University and pays almost $70,000 a year says, I don't know, I wish I was more educated. Like, <laughs> yeah, we, we wish you were too. You know, Thomas Sewell once, once said, the road to hell is paved with Ivy League degrees. And what these brainiacs don't realize is that they're the useful idiots in America right now. And most federal politicians are doing absolutely nothing about this because they're scared. And all the while, Biden's education department, just, just think about this, at the same time, Biden's education department is trying to shut down two of the biggest Christian schools in the country at Grand Canyon University and Liberty University. Thanks for watching this clip. Listen, I wanna make sure that you stay informed on the news and the biblical response to it. So do yourself and us a favor and hit the subscribe button before you go. And then we'd love for you to check out wethefreeshow.com to grab yourself some merch and to spread the word of We The Free. And we're also gonna put a video on the screen right now that we think you'll like. Now go and be that salt and light, and we'll see you next time.